Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about te how many tips do we want? Ten? Yes. Yes. Or we want eleven? Eleven. Eleven tips? Okay. <laughs> Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test. Today we're talking to you about eleven tips for safe winter driving when the temperature is near freezing outside. And today we have 11 tips for you to be safe in winter driving and to understand the dangers that go along with winter driving when the temperature is near zero. It is much more treacherous to drive when the temperature is near zero than when it is sub-zero temperatures. Therefore, it's much more dangerous to drive in Victoria, BC when they get their one snow a year than it is on the prairies when the temperature is minus 10 or minus 20. And the reason for that is because there's a layer of water on top of the ice when the temperature is around zero, which lubricates the ice and makes it much more slippery. One of the ways you can think about that is an ice hockey rink after the Zamboni goes out and floods the ice. It's much more slippery immediately after the Zamboni floods the ice than it is after it has a period of time to actually freeze. So today we got 11 tips for you to stay safe, stay out of the ditch, and in the event, the unfortunate event that you do in fact end up in the ditch, we got tips for that too. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there smart drivers, welcome back. Today we have 11 tips for winter driving when the temperature is around the freezing mark because that is much more treacherous to drive than it is in sub-zero temperatures. Tip number one. Equip your vehicle with an outside thermometer. If you are not driving a vehicle that already has an outside thermometer, go to the hardware store, the auto parts store, and pick one up. They're very inexpensive and you can put them in your vehicle. And these will help you to navigate the, the dangers of winter driving and will tell you if there is ice and that all dreaded, ooh, black ice. Watch the video up here. I'll put a card up here for you on black ice. Just because it's near freezing, doesn't mean you don't know where the ice is. So you can find the ice, equip your car with an outside thermometer. Tip number two, and if I wasn't wearing gloves, you could see that I was holding up two fingers. Tip number two is know which parts of the road freeze first. Bridges and overpass are going to freeze first because they freeze from both the top and from the bottom. Areas of the road that lie in shadow along wooded areas or cliffs, those are going to freeze and as well low lying areas are going to freeze first because uh, cold air is heavier than hot air and it's going to sit down in the valley or down in the bottom of the hill there and it is going to freeze in low lying areas. The other place that a lot of people don't know that's going to freeze first is roadways that run near bodies of water. The air comes over the water, picks up the water, drops it on the road, and it's going to freeze there. So that's another place on the roadway that's going to freeze. So know the areas of the road that are going to freeze first. Tip number three, clear the windows and lights on your vehicle completely before leaving. Yes, we've all seen the vehicles rolling down the road with a foot of snow on the roof. Make sure you clear all of the road so you can be seen and other people can see you when you turn on your lights and communicate to them that you in fact are turning, have your lights on, they can see you approaching and those types of things. This is the reason we have daylight running lights in Canada because it has been shown that this communicates to other traffic that you're there. So clean off the car, clean off the lights, clean it off entirely before you set out. Tip number four, tip number four. Tip number four, make sure the windshield washer fluid is topped up. We've all been out on the roadway and getting behind other vehicles and the spray coming off the other vehicles and there isn't enough water to just quite make the windshield clean. In that, on that note as well, not only top up the windshield washer fluid, but make sure your wiper blades are in good order before you set into winter. That will just make life so much easier. For $50, you can put new windshield wipers on your car and be safe. Because let me tell you, if the windshield wiper goes when you're out on the roadway and you stop at a fuel station or you stop somewhere along the roadway to pick up a windshield wiper, they're going to charge you a lot more because this is how gas stations make their money. So new windshield wipers, good windshield wipers in good condition, top up the windshield washer fluid. Tip number five, a deft touch on the primary controls. The throttle, the brake, and the steering wheel. And when I say deft touch, little gentle movements on these primary controls. 
because any overuse of the primary controls is going to cause you to lose control of the vehicle. Remember, a locked or spinning wheel always leads. In other words, if the wheels are spinning or locked up, it's going to go sideways on you. So give yourself lots of time, deft control on the primary controls. Tip number six, use the primary controls separately when it's slippery outside. You can't brake and steer at the same time. Let me tell you, from personal experience, it doesn't work. When I first got my license, I got my brand new pickup truck. It wasn't a brand new pickup truck, it was a used pickup truck, but it was brand new to me. Come down the road, I hit the brakes, tried to turn the steering wheel at the same time, and I went right past the roadway where I wanted to turn. So. The primary controls in the winter time have to be used separately and know as well, all modern vehicles are equipped with ABS brakes that if you come up and it is slippery, the ABS is going to activate and is going to take you much, much longer to get that vehicle stopped. So make sure that you brake early and then creep up to where you want to actually stop. That's how we do it in the winter time. The other thing that you can do to assist braking in the winter time on slippery conditions is put the vehicle into neutral. and most automatics just about 90 percent of them you can just push the uh, gear selector forward and it will drop into neutral it won't go into reverse so that's another technique that you can use in the winter time to assist braking use the primary controls separately so give yourself ample time to get the vehicle stopped before you have to turn so do those two things separately Tip number seven, allow yourself extra time. Yes, we know it's winter time. Yes, it's cold. Yes, you're in bed and it is so toasty warm and you don't want to get out of bed. But you need extra time. You're gonna need extra time to shovel the driveway, to clean off the car completely and you need extra time to drive there because it's gonna take you longer. Because you need extra time to brake, you need to slow down and not drive as fast. So, I know it's hard, it's a challenge, but allow yourself extra time. Tip number eight, avoid distractions in the car in the winter time when the temperature is around zero and it is slippery. Turn off the radio, don't be drinking, don't be eating. Focus on driving, two hands in the steering wheel looking way ahead, concentrating on traffic and trying to interpret traffic patterns and again going back to use of the primary controls and braking early. So minimize distractions in the car, in the vehicle that you're driving so that you're not distracted from the task of driving in the winter time because the challenges of winter driving, especially when the temperature is around zero, will demand all of your focus, all of your care and all of your abilities. So minimize distractions. Tip number nine. So increase your following distance so under ideal conditions the following distance is two to three seconds in the winter time you might even want to increase that out to five seconds if you're driving a car or light truck any passenger vehicle that way you've got more time to react more time for deft touch on the controls and you don't need abrupt evasive maneuvers that will potentially put you in the ditch so increase your following distance give yourself more room give yourself more time and figure out how far to follow behind other vehicles according to time I'll put a card up here for you for following distance you can have a look at that and figure out how to follow behind other vehicles so that you won't find yourself in an emergency situation tip number 10 intersections be aware at intersections because you need to start braking early and then creep up to where you want to stop at busy intersections where there's lots of traffic when the temperature is around zero and there's a layer of water and ice and snow on the roadway, what's gonna happen as the cars are coming up and stopping, they're braking, they're sliding, they're creating heat, and they're melting the ice. And again, it goes back to the Zamboni on the ice hockey rink. They're gonna create a layer of water on top of the ice and the intersection is going to be more slippery. So at busy intersections, know there's gonna be ice at or near the intersection. So slow down before you get there and then creep up to the intersection. On back roads and residential areas, Many of these cities don't get out to plow these for one, two, three days after you get snow and whatnot. So know that on residential streets and suburban areas and those types of things, it's just not going to be plowed. So you're going to have to use more caution and you might even have to use a little power to get out of the snow and those types of things when the temperatures are now around freezing. So tip number 10, be aware at intersections. Tip number 11, if you're traveling outside of urban areas in the wintertime, 
put a safety kit in your vehicle. Pack a safety kit that way if you're unfortunate enough to end up in the ditch or you end up in an avalanche area which you're driving through BC and the mountain areas and those types of things, you're going to be comfortable. You're not going to be cold. You're not going to freeze to death in the unlikely event that people don't get to you for a period of time. On that note, with a safety kit in your vehicle in the wintertime, don't run it below a quarter tank. There's all kinds of reasons. I'll put a video up here for the reason that you shouldn't run it below a quarter tank anyway for the fuel pump, but in the wintertime, if you get stranded, you want fuel in that vehicle so that you can run it. And if you don't have fuel, if you don't have more than a quarter of a tank, there's a good chance you're going to run out of fuel. So put a safety kit in your car. The safety kit, I'll put another video up for you on safety kit and what you should pack in your safety kit. But you should have a blanket, a pot, a candle, a lighter, non-perishable food items like granola bars and those types of things. And if you have medication, you should have medication, extra medication in your car as well. And keep your cell phone charged up. That way you can call people and get some help. So that's tip number 11. So in conclusion, today we went over 11 tips for driving when the temperature is near zero. And in the wintertime, we've all heard the radio reports when it is sub-zero temperatures and they're all like, oh my God, everybody's gonna end up in the ditch. It really should have that when it's near zero because it's much more treacherous to drive in the wintertime when the temperature is near zero than it is in sub-zero temperatures. And we talked about lubrication and the layer of water on top of the ice. So 11 tips, we went over the thermometer. Equip your vehicle with a thermometer if you don't want to already have one in your vehicle. Know which parts of the road freeze first, bridges and overpasses, low-lying areas, areas of the road that lie in shadow and roadways that run near bodies of water are going to freeze. Make sure you clear your vehicle off completely, get rid of the frost, clear off all the snow so that you can see other vehicles and they can see your light so you can communicate with them effectively. Top up your windshield washer, make sure you've got good uh, windshield wipers on your vehicle. Primary controls, deft touch on the primary controls and make sure that you use the primary controls separately. So as well, allow yourself extra time so that you can give yourself plenty of following distance and that you can brake early and then creep up to where you actually want to stop. Reduce distractions in the vehicle. Don't have the radio blaring. Don't be drinking and trying to eat food or reading the newspaper and those types of things. So reduce distractions and have your complete attention on the task of driving when the temperature is around freezing. Intersections. Know that in the wintertime, intersections are going to be ex exceptionally slippery because the cars come up and stop. They cause the ice to melt and there's a layer of water on top of the ice. So know that intersection is going to be slippery on the back roads and suburban areas and those types of places. It might be two or three days before they actually get them plowed. And finally, number 11, if you're traveling outside of urban areas, equip your vehicle with a safety kit in the unfortunate event that you do end up in the ditch and you have to wait for people to come and get you out. Question for my smart drivers, how do you prepare your vehicle for winter driving. Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps us out. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. All of that helps us out. As well, check out the videos below, especially if you're embarking on the endeavor of getting your license. Lots of great information for you to be successful in that endeavor. If you're on a mobile device, check out the cards in the upper right hand corner. And when you're up there, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. Remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. So we'll try that again. Okay. Here we go. Put your put the goggles down. There we go. Okay, put and put my gloves on. Is it bad if I freak out now because it's my restaurant? Ah! Wait. There we go. We got our we got our. We're all ready. Okay, let's see if it works. I think it I think it's gonna work this time. It melts and thaws. It melts. <laughs> melts and thaws is the same word. <laughs>